what is the ranking system in Dito? Hello everyone, my name is Mark, and today I'm answering a question regarding the ranking system of Dito. We're also going to be touching on transmission and some other licenses that are associated with the tradition. Here's a question. Can you explain the current ranking system in mainline? What exactly is the difference between Kyoji Daidi and Jun Kyoji Daidi? Uh, so thank you for your question. Uh, to answer the last part first, uh, I have no idea what a Jun Kyoji Daidi is. Now, uh, for those not familiar with the term Kyoji Daidi, it basically translates to representative instructor. And it was a license that or at least today is a license that is uh, normally given to allow an individual to teach uh, in seminars and in you know other people's dojo. Basically, you know to teach beyond the confine of one's group, tra uh, group training group or dojo. Generally, a uh, branch chief would be allowed to only teach within the confine of his own dojo. A uh, Kyoju Daidi would be allowed to go to that dojo if they want to teach or to hold a seminar. Uh, now, the prefix Jun to in Jun Kyoju Daidi would normally, in my understanding, kind of hold the meaning of associate. So I guess the translation would be associate uh, representative instructor. Um, I that's not something that was used by Sokaku Sensei to my knowledge. It wasn't used by Tokimi Sensei, I'm pretty sure. Um, why, where it comes from, I do not know. Um, I'm not even, not entirely sure what the term is, is supposed to mean as well. I'm, I'm sure you know there's, there's a good explanation somewhere about it, but I wouldn't be able to provide it. Now, regarding the ranking system, uh, it's following a done in Q ranking system. Now, the uh, Q ranking, I think, is left up to basically each individual dojo. Uh, I don't believe at this point that there are any standard uh, for the uh, Q ranking, except maybe for uh, the, the first Q, where you know, you're supposed to have a certain level. That means that you're close to ready to take your showdown test. Um, but then, you know, it's basically done ranking. Uh, most people would normally come to Japan to, you know, do their done ranking. Each done is uh, is associated to a with a portion of the Hiden Mokoroku. So Ikajo is for Shodan, Nikajo for Nidan, and so on uh, until fourth done, and you have Yonkajo and Gokajo. Um, there are people that have ranks of Godan, Rokudan, and uh, Nadana all the way to Hachidan, so to Eidan. Uh, generally, those ones I believe to be more um, based on number of years of practice and uh, essentially service rendered to, to the tradition, uh, more than a uh, having any significant significance in terms of level specifically. Um, however, the Dan system is something that was introduced uh, to Daito Ryu by Tokimune Sensei. Uh, if you care to know the term in Japanese for, for this system, it's Dan Kyu Issei. Um, so this is something that was introduced by Tokimune Sensei uh, one, uh, around the time where he renamed the tradition from Daito Ryu Aiki Jujutsu to Daito Ryu Aiki Budo. Uh, or at least the front facing of it was renamed to Aikibudo. Now, parallel to that, you also have uh, all the Densho, the transmission documents that are uh, being uh, awarded to various individuals. Now, this is separate to the uh, the, the done ranking system. Um, and you're going to have people that don't have any done and they're going to basically have uh, been, have been awarded transmission documents and you're going to have people who have very high ranking and they have no, they have not received any transmission documents or maybe they've received only the Hidemo Kuroku perhaps. Um, they're, they're really meant to be at least as it stands today to transmit two different parallel well, separate uh, means of, of, of transmission of the tradition. Um, 
when it comes down to Kyoju Dairi, uh, this is not a transmission license. It is, again, a teaching license. Uh, one of the personal... One of the misconceptions that I hear a lot is uh, from, say, you know, for perhaps Aikido practitioners or, or whatnot um, that, you know, feel like they have a stake in, 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 in that fact is the idea that the Kyoju Dairi license at the time was the equivalent to Minkyo Kaiden. Now, this doesn't... In my understanding, and based on what I've been able to find so far, doesn't really make sense. First of all, the etymology of the term is not consistent with, you know, meaning that it's, uh, you know, something that's given for transmission purposes, uh, in, in meaning formal transmission. You know, you're being, uh, the, 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 the tradition is being passed on down to you. Um, you know, Kyoji Daire literally means you are teaching on behalf of somebody else. Um, if it was supposed to mean Menkyo Kaiden, or it was supposed to be, you know, meaning that you've received the entire tradition, now go create your own tradition, then it's a bit strange to me that, you know, Kyoji Daire would have been the term that they would have selected. Uh, there's also, and if you want to go see on my blog, you're going to find there's one article about the Hidemokuruku uh, document that, I, that I've acquired in auctions, uh, where you're going to see that it's signed by a branch chief. Now, this is not something that would be legit, but what is historically relevant and interesting here is that if the document is is uh, authentic, meaning it is from the time period it's claiming to be from, then you know it means that not only you had Sokaku Sensei using the title Hombucho, so headquarters director, but you also had branches that were established, and you at least had one. Meaning that you know it it's very likely that the Kyoji Daily license was also at that time used for the same purpose it is today, meaning uh, it was used for you know, allowing someone to teach beyond the confine of a single dojo, uh, which is basically what Sokoku Sensei was doing as well. He was, you know, airing all around the country, you know, teaching wherever, you know, he could. Uh, now, uh, you also had the license uh, around Tokimune Sensei's uh, passing when his health was declining. He had the uh, Soke Daidi license. Now, this isn't a teaching license of any kind. It was basically a title meant to allow one individual to take over or take over some of the res administrative responsibility of the tradition on behalf of the of uh, Tokimune Sensei. Uh, there are no Soke at the moment in mainline Daitoryu, so there's not going to be a Soke Daiti, nor would there be a need for it because, well, thankfully enough, everyone's healthy in the transition uh, of, of uh, the leadership of the tradition, the tradition is happening quite smoothly at the moment. So you don't need you don't need an intermediate title or like you know, somebody to act as either a regent or you know some uh, some some uh, on behalf of somebody else uh, for for the time being. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it when it comes down to titles. Um, if you have any other questions on the subject, uh, feel free to uh, put them in the comments. Or if you have any any comments of your own, please you know put them down below. Uh, as always, thank you for your time, and until next time.